Van restoration part four. I've just been to the shops again, spent about 150 pound again. Once again, don't tell me the half that how much money I'm spending on this thing to give it away, but it's for a good cause. We're gonna give this away to an apprentice or to a new learner at 100,000 subscribers. There's the van, that's what we gotta do. List of things to do today. I've written, I've written a list. So we're gonna spray, take the units out that we made last video, spray them black. We're gonna then insert a rubber mattings. From that, we're then gonna insert LED lights within the shelves and then take a feed down to the van vault. Good idea, got off the last video. And on top of it, the little tip that people said to me, is use this on the bumpers to try and get it back to black. But don't do it on the door handles, because I tried this on the door handles last time and actually melted it, which I'll show you. Yeah, don't do it on the door handles, but I can do it on the bumpers. Then we're gonna put some new wiper blades on the front because they're a bit corroded and old. And the final thing is I bought some new reg plates. So we can stick them on, get this door card in. So let's pull these units out so I don't have to sit in there and spray it and inhale all the fumes. I'll pull them out, there's only a few screws. Spray it, stick it back in. I'd like to do it outside, but it's quite windy. Okay, they're sprayed up. I've not done the internals because we've got this rubber mat in. That's sprayed up. I'm gonna get this cut now, glue these in, give it a bit, I've not bothered spraying the inside, it's a bit pointless. And uh, we'll glue these in with their anti-slip mats. So, so if you do put some bits and bobs in there, it ain't gonna go rattling around. Right, last, next thing I want to do is the LED tape. So we've just got some off cut for some LED tape that I had. Took a way go on these ones. I just want to double check that this will work, which it will. So I can do a through crimp on that, bring a cable in here down into the shelving, which I'll run you through what we're going to do now. The plan is the LED tape is going to be glued on the underside of this rim. As much as I like to put it on the top, we've had this with our problem and you end up catching it. We're putting stuff in and out and you end up ripping it off. Put it here, it will light with up. I can't really do one above here because of the lights. So it will be on this bit shining back, on that bit shining back. And we probably will have to run one on here to shine down. So I'm going to start getting that in. I've bought my new soldering iron that I bought. It was a Dremel gas soldering iron um, from the last one. So we'll be making up some ends, running it across, but we've got some bell wire, wherever the hell that is, that we're going to start running places. And I think what I might end up doing is cutting the lengths I need and then just doing an excessive amount of bell wire on each one so we can sort of put them in place. But we will have to drill a hole through here because I'm going to do this as one long length. Same thing here, one long length running through and then probably two individual lengths so I don't have to drill through here running up. I'm going to try and feed them all back up into here and then we'll just put like a five way where you go, stuff it in there, hidden it out of the way. So when the lights come on internally in the van, it will come on and then we'll move to the van bolt one. Right, now that's him. Uh, Power Electrical, my local wholesaler, uh, heard about what we're doing with the van, so they've gifted me a five meter spool of um, waterproof LED tape, some bell wire, and equally some heat shrink as well. So thank you very much for Power. I'll put the link down there below. And uh, then it's going to a good cause. This is the Dremel. Give me that. Preset this up. I have gassed it up. So you pull that locket and you lock that across to stay on. But we'll turn that off for a minute. So that's very cool. It comes with like a cutting edge, bits and bobs, a sleeve, some, we'll need that. Yes, we will. Give me that. And you can obviously fill that with the water so you can clean the ends off. So I'll, we'll just put a little bit of water in that now. Right, just stripped a bit of our wire. We chiseled it around, we snipped it off. So we want to tin these up first. I'm just going off what people have said to me. I don't know why I was about to tip that in. What I've done on here is just scraped off the bits and bobs. Comes with this. Perfect. Oh. Oh, I've got it stuck now. I'm about to say I'll, <laughs> I'll snip it back a bit, but there we have it. Give it the old cleany clean on the old spongy sponge. What I'm going to do, just before we put this on, I've got a 12 volt battery here. I used an 18 volt battery ages ago in a video, and I actively realised when people said in the comment section it should have been 12 volt. So I've got a 12 volt battery. I'm just going to double check my connection before we start heat shrinking it up, and it doesn't work. 
slide that on there. I've got an absolute massive 12 amp battery in my heat gun. Just gonna double check again that it's not shorting itself out. Yeah, the sound. Right, I'm gonna get all these done and we'll jump back. That took way too long, but we're ready. Right, let's do this one first. Okay, we've got the cables all down together. I was trying to bring them up here, but where the entry point is, and I've tucked them behind and under the mats, probably gonna put a bit of uh, CT1 or something in the corner, just stick them in place. So I'm gonna cut them all five way where you go and take one link directly up and across onto here. Right, we've linked up up here and coming across, we have lights. All the way across. So, just to add to the complication and the stress levels and just being completely unnecessary, let's put one in the van well. So I've got a drill, a hole up and under, right above the, uh, you can't even see under there, right above the, uh, the runners to pop out into this little section so I can bring a cable through here and then stick this up and under. I'm going to have to reuse like, utilize that and utilize that because I don't actually have any more. So I'm going to, do a little way go down there, poke it up, bring it up, bring it to that joint, and we can sort of conceal the cables, then on to the next one. Okay, so what I did, CT1 in the corner, we spray paint that over, it'll do another coat. The good thing about the CT1, which is the clear stuff, which is unlike other clear silicons, is you can actually paint over it, which is a nice little touch. Did the same thing here, up and around, because there was no entry points, but ready? LED. So especially at night time, that's going to be an absolute godsend. There's one thing I don't have in my van. Look at the state of this place. Next thing is this. So I have done back to black and I've tried to buff up these. And this was the very, when we very first got it, obviously been sat outside, it's weathered again, but I've been told that this brings out the oils back from the plastic to the surface and generates a more glossy black look. So we will soon find out. And I've got to admit, that is 10 times better. And you know full well, I'm about to go next door and do a YouTube short. Look at them. Brand new-ish. In the front, we've done all the way around. The bumper. The only bit that is different, this is a different plastic to this plastic. So that one started to melt. And yeah, don't touch the headlights with it either because that doesn't, <laughs> a day like that. Next thing on the list is number plates. Let's get them on. We are going to remain being an idiot. Oh, I nearly stuck that to the back. <laughs> That's the front one, Nick. That was easy. I'm going to leave the protective film on for a little bit until it's dry, or probably until I get rid of it. And we'll pull them off. But uh, yeah, all sorted, mate. I better actually pick them screws up off the floor, yeah? Next thing is. Or some Bosch wipers. I presume that's that one and that's that one. Ad, do you want to give us a flavour, yeah? Your guess is good as mine, mate. I think we are idiots. Which way? Yeah, that clip needs to fall. If you do that, it flexes. Well. Oh, it's like this. You yeah. push it down on itself, don't you? Ooh, ah. I'm pretty sure you, you hook that over. You feel like I'm forcing it. Is that definitely the right one? I don't know. Yay! Right, you clip it shut. You rest over the wipers, yeah? Standard Saturday, mate. Even though it's Monday. And last but not least, we've got a little tree, a little red tree. This is wild cherry, and it's going to be delicious because it's a van. There's no uh, rear view mirror to hang it off, and the gear stick's on the floor. So, what we're going to do, we're going to hang it up here. Uh, I've had a company reach out to me from the, literally the last video, which, uh, which was part three. I presume it's because they saw the video or it was just a pure random coincidence, Coinky Dink. It's a company that do aftermarket head units, but this is one where we keep our original one and it's like a nine inch screen that will sit on top where you are here on the dashboard. You plug it into your 12 volt, into your cigarette lighter, which aren't cigarette lighters anymore, and your AUX cable in the back and it's got Apple CarPlay and everything. And normally I do ignore requests like this because I get it hundreds and hundreds of messages and emails saying can you promote this can you do that and I thought well 
it'd be perfect for this van. We can get it, it's gonna be integrated into the next video we're gonna do on the van, installing that. And I've asked for a re uh, reversing camera as well that also links into it. So this van will then have Apple CarPlay and a reversing camera as well. And I'm also, there's a few other tiny little modifications that I wanna do. But there's anything you can think that I could do to this van, which isn't gonna cost me a billion pound. It's got a roof rack, it's got a rhino tube, it's got LED lights, it's got a van vault, it's got LED lights in the van vault, it's got a lot of stuff. Um, but if you're enjoying the videos, smack a like. It's gonna go to a subscriber, like I said, when I hit 100,000, to an apprentice. I had a really, really, really few good comments saying what you should do is reach out to local colleges, get them involved for the uh, apprentices to do a competition and the competition who the competition winner will win the van, which will be cool. But I'm gonna try and do it when I get a bit closer. I'm gonna reach out to the Velocity. I'm gonna reach out to Nipex. We're gonna do a few things, fill the van up a little bit. I can put a little bit more money into it, get some Stanley stackers ready. We can reach out to Ideal, where you go, get some trays, you know, get the van, bit of stuff in the van. So whoever wins, it's not just the van. They can physically, you know, utilize it and go to work and, and do bits and bobs, which would be nice. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye then.